here it is, Draw My Life. I had a tough time making this because, well, I have to tell my entire life story under 20 minutes. I can barely remember what I did yesterday. So this will be a very brief summary of my life. I would love to get more in depth, but we can save that for another time. So let's get drawing. There are seven billion people in this world, meaning there are seven billion stories to be told. But today, I'm going to tell you one story from someone who was born in this tiny town in Massachusetts called Boston, or Baston, AKA Beantown. January 1987, it was snowing and my mother and father were driving. At this time, my mother was six months pregnant and she asked my father what my name should be and they both decided on Michelle. However, my mom looked over at him and asked, well, what about her Vietnamese name? He looked out the window and saw this beautiful snowflake and he said, Duyk Bang, which means avalanche. <laughs> Thanks, Dad, for naming me after something so terrifying. Hi, my name is Avalanche, and I could potentially kill you. Nice to meet you. So that's me, an avalanche. Four months later, I was born. Year of the Rabbit. My welcome party was lovely. <laughs> my mother told me that when she brought me home and placed me in my crib, my brother thought I was a toy, so he literally jumped and slammed himself on top of me. Apparently, I stopped breathing and my mother thought I died. Anyways, that's how I first met my amazing brother, Steve. A few years later, we all packed up and moved to California. Now, if you don't know this landmark, this is the Golden Gate Bridge and it's located in San Francisco. This is where we moved. All right, so I'm gonna draw my family portrait. This is my mom. Her name is Hing, which means gentle one in Vietnamese. Myself, Michelle, or Avalanche. My brother, Steve. And of course, my wonderful father. We were a very loving family. While living in San Francisco, we moved several different times, at least over six times in one year. I remember packing and moving, and at first I thought it was fun, but Later I found out it was because my father had a gambling addiction. He was a very loving father, but his weakness was playing poker. It was so bad that he would gamble all our rent money and we would get evicted. That's why we kept moving. It broke my mother's heart. I'll never forget seeing my mother cry. I realized at a very early age that I couldn't wait to grow up so I could help her. Because we moved so often, I ended up going to several different schools in one year. So it was hard for me to make friends because not only was I shy, but I was always the new girl. Luckily, I had an imagination and I drew a lot. Disney princesses were one of my favorite things to draw. I wanted to be just like them. Oakland, California. This is where I made my first friend. I finally felt like I belonged. It was a wonderful feeling, and I remember I had so much fun. You never forget the first friend you make. I will never forget her. Sadly, it didn't last long. My father told us that we had to move again, and I never saw her again. But it's okay. You guys are now my friends. So, we were on the road again. We packed all our things in a van and drove out to Florida. He said we would be moving next to Disney World and we could see Mickey. Later, we found out that well, that's Orlando, that's where Disney World is at, and we are right there, Tampa. Womp womp. Not really close to Orlando, but my first day at school was, was pretty hard. I never felt so different in my life. There wasn't a lot of Asian people at my school, and my classmates, they made fun of me, calling me names. Man, kids can be so cruel. But it's okay. I found something else that made me smile. It was drawing. I draw superheroes all day in class. I even created a superhero version of myself. I seriously thought that when I grew up, I would have superpowers. <laughs> One morning I woke up and I noticed that my father was missing. My mother was so heartbroken. 
I didn't know why my father left. But every night, I would wait for him to come back. He never did. However, we carried on. My mother is a strong woman, and she found a way to take care of us. We were happy. We didn't have much, but we had each other. My mother was a bombshell. It didn't take her long to finally remarry. And we were so excited because now we had a stepdad. We were so happy to finally have a father again. A year later, my little sister was born. Steve and I were overjoyed to have a little sister. And I was excited to be a big sister. And her name is Christine. I loved her so much. I was never happy when I was home. Turns out, my stepdad wasn't the father I dreamt of. This is something I'd rather not talk about. But my mother was the best. She loved me so much, and one Christmas, I'll never forget, I got the very thing I've always wanted, a Sailor Moon doll. It was everything to me. The second thing I wanted was this Barbie dream house, but my family couldn't afford it, which was totally fine because I made my own dream house out of cardboard box. I cut out a door, a window, and every day after school, I couldn't wait to come home to play with my dolls. It's funny how the best things in life are the most simple. In middle school, I played the trumpet. Oh man, my mom, she nagged at me all the time. She wished that I could play the flute or a violin, something that was less loud than a trumpet. High school, I grew out of playing dolls. Instead, I played games. When my parents were arguing, I would either save the world or become the world's greatest warrior. I even picked up on manga art and wrote and drew a lot of my own stories. It was my only escape from reality. See, we didn't have the internet, so you guys today lucked out. Gosh, teenage years, always so awkward. I wanted to wear makeup so badly, but my mother, she wouldn't let me. But little by little, she allowed me to wear a little bit of eyeliner and then mascara. And afterwards, she let me wear colored lip gloss. It was a pretty big deal for me. I loved makeup so much because, to me, it was like drawing. It was on my own face. Senior year of high school, I couldn't take the hurt anymore. My stepdad left a lot of scars that I'm still trying to heal from. The heart can only take so much. My mother said enough was enough, and we all left him. We packed up our things and went to find a new home. It was just us again, but it felt right, just like old times. We didn't know what was going to happen, but we knew that we were going to walk together. It wasn't easy. We had to move a few times, and at one point, we could only afford to rent a bedroom from a family. We all shared a bed, and my brother would sleep on the floor. My brother and I had to work to help out my mother. It was tough, but we made it through together as a family. We were unbreakable. A miracle happened. I was able to attend college. That meant I had to move an hour away from them, and I was devastated. I cried so much because it was my first time away from home. And it also meant that I couldn't have my mom's pho as much. Man, you cry too because it is so good. My college gave out laptops to all the students. I always dreamt of having my own laptop, but I never thought I'd have one. Well, guess what? This was the laptop where I filmed my very first makeup tutorial. I just wanted to show every girl out there how beautiful she was and how makeup can be their own superhero costume. Batman, Superman, Spider-Man, without their costumes, they're still powerful, but it's their costume that tells the world that they're superheroes. Anyways, I'd love to go more into details about how everything happened, but this video would be two hours long, so I'm just gonna fast forward to today. I now live in two cities, one being New York, also known as the Big Apple, and Los Angeles. I got my family a home where they're safe and happy. My mother is as beautiful as ever and hasn't aged a day. My little sister grew up so fast. She's now a beautiful young lady. As for my brother, being the awesome guy that he is, found someone really special. He married a beautiful woman. You might know her as Promise. So everyone is happy and healthy. 
As for me, well, <laughs> well, let's just say I met someone very special in Paris. This is another story that deserves to be told, but I'll save that for another time. But that's pretty much a brief summary of my story. Even when times were tough, my childlike spirit never died. I found that very thing that takes me to a happy place. It was art. And to others, it could be music, writing, video games. Whatever it is, finding that special thing will help move you forward. Kind of like a lotus flower, finding sunlight in muddy water. When all odds are against it, it will still rise up to bloom. We all have a story to tell, and we are all part of something beautiful. To the world, you may be one person, but to one person, you may be the world. Every great dream begins with a dreamer, and every dreamer has a story. So don't settle for a happy ending, because to be continued is way more fun. And I'm wishing you the best on your story. Good luck on the next chapter in your life.